left there you'll see a military convoy. Canada! Well, good morning to you too, Mr. Big Guns. That was a long convoy. You know, I used to always say you only see military convoys in the States. That's like the fifth one I've seen today already. I think something's going down. That's a lot of military vehicles. Wow, I wonder where they're going. We're just east of Edmonton starting our day. We're headed home. What is this, day 10? Day 10 diesel, what in the world? We will be home tomorrow morning, afternoon. We can't quite make it home tonight, so we'll get very close. Probably to Brandon or Portage La Prairie, I don't know, somewhere in there. Make it into Manitoba anyways, I hope. And then we'll enjoy the weekend at home. We got fishing on Saturday. We got the Niverville Fair the whole weekend. Got a couple of big name country singers coming out. Oh yeah, it's gonna be great. Oh, we didn't make it too far down the road. And there's another military convoy. Look at that. There they go. Something is going down. Is there a war around here that I should know about? I'm glad they're headed that way. I'm, I'm going this way. Look at them, eh? All fancy. Them and their big guns. That is like the sixth one we've seen in 15 minutes. Something's going on. This is not normal. Not for Canada. Jesus, it's bumpy. That's normal. Well, we're sitting here in Lloydminster, right at the Alberta, Saskatchewan border. Headed back home. And I got some big news to reveal to you guys. I've known for a while already, but I haven't told you guys for some reason yet. But I got a, accepted to the University of Winnipeg. I was uh, planning on taking criminal justice, because I told you I want to be a cop one day, right? So criminal justice would help me along towards that. And uh, so I got some decisions to make now, whether or not I'm going to continue over the road, because I know I already love this job. Okay, so we're stopped at the scale here. Diesel has no idea what's going on, but he's excited about it. And all this thinking about what to do now, if I should go to school this year, or maybe wait a year, save up some money maybe, and go next year, or if I should just stay a trucker, you know, once a trucker, always a trucker, you know. But all this thinking's making my head hurt, so I got a headache now. We're gonna stop, we're gonna have a, a couple hour nap here. We're not in too big of a hurry to get back, so. Yeah, we're gonna have a little nap here, there's snooze, and see what that gets us. All right, well that nap didn't turn out. I can never fall asleep. I'm not good at naps, I don't do naps. So I just took some Advil, and we're gonna head on down the road with my headache. I'm trying to stop thinking so much. All right, Diesel, yeah, you eat. I'm gonna drink some water now, and we're just gonna head down the road. We are a thousand kilometers from home, so we're only 10 hours from home. Uh, if I would drive straight through, I'd get there like 2.45 in the morning, but we're gonna sleep somewhere along the way yet, so let's hit the road again. Here we are in the mighty city of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Also known to many who have seen the movie Grown Ups as Saskatchewan. Big city or anything, but still Saskatchewan. One half mile. Keep left. Why are you still talking in miles? We're in Canada. 800 meters. That's not a mile. You get all your measurements messed up here. Well, we are still screaming across the Canadian outback. Yeah, this isn't Australia, no, it's the Canadian prairies. It's the prairies. May as well be the outback. There's nothing here but cows. Right, Diesel? Oh, is there cows everywhere? He's having a blast. He's saying hello to every single one of them. Anywho, 
So we're feeling better now. Feeling better. And we are probably close to Saskatchewan or halfway between Saskatchewan and Saskatoon. Saskatoon, whatever you want to call it. Saskatoon. And so we've been doing lots of thinking. Yeah. Lots of thinking about this uh, schooling that's coming up. Okay, last day of the trip. We're merging the two last days together because this is going to be a short day. And how can you tell that we drove through Saskatchewan? Huh? Look at the windshield. Bugs everywhere. That's how you know you've been in Saskatchewan. We're almost at the Manitoba border. We're going to stop at Timmy's and Brandon. Fuel up. And head her on home. We're almost there. Day 11. So 11 day trip. I believe it is or is it 12? Oh, I think it's 11. Thanks. And we're still staring through all the bugs of Saskatchewan. I know, I know. But we are 65 kilometers from home. That is like just over 30 miles. 40 miles, something like that. Oh yes, we're getting close. We're gonna stop at the Flying J in Headingley, Winnipeg, whatever you wanna call it. Fuel up the fuel tanks and fuel up the DEF tank. So we'll be ready to go on Sunday. Sunday we are leaving on trip number two and we are headed to Lincoln, Nebraska. Are you excited? It's gonna be a lot of this terrain all the way there and back. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm kind of weird. I know. All of you first timers watching my videos must just be like, man, this guy is messed up. Yep. That's me. So I know, look at my beard, eh? Huh? Huh? Pretty good, eh? Okay, get a close up on that. I haven't shaved all trip. I was growing it out in celebration of the first OTR trip. <laughs> and I didn't bring my shaver along. But it turned out, eh? Well, not bad, not bad. All right. Diesel, how have you been enjoying the trip so far? You have seen lots of cows? Cows, where? Where, you see cows? There's no cows here. Cows are in Saskatchewan and Alberta. There's just open fields here. Lots of farmers. There's some cows here. Not right here exactly, but. We're in Manitoba. We're getting close to home. Maybe, just maybe, soon we'll take you to meet a cow. Yeah. For your birthday in August. Anyways, he's getting pretty excited that we're almost home. He's been staring out the window looking for cows all day again, but that's what he does every day. Doesn't matter where we are. Always looking for cows. Strange obsession with them. Kind of worried about them. You know you're a dog, right? You're not a cow. Maybe he wishes he was a cow. I don't wish you were a cow. Then I'd have to eat you. I'm getting hungry just talking about it. Oh well. All right. I will see you probably back at the yard. Okay, we're just arriving at the Flying J in Winnipeg here. Fill us up with some go-go juice, some DEF juice. As soon as Mr. Challenger here gets out of my way. I saw him hanging up the pumps as I was pulling up, so it's not going to be that long. Yeah, this is where we are. Lots of bugs, I know. I'm going to clean them off right away. Oh, that guy's moving right now. Okay, we're going to go in that spot instead. Or no, no, no. He's just moving up. He's going to fill up his reefer. Oh, sneaky. Had me fooled. Yeah. Guess we'll just wait for Mr. Challenger, eh, Diesel? Why do you look so sad? Oh, I don't want to go home. You don't want to go home? Well, we're going to Nebraska on Sunday. There'll be lots of cows down that way. Oh. Don't look so sad. You okay? You dead? Hello! Strange dog. Hey, there's a hair on the lens. What are you doing on there? 
I know my lens is always dirty. It's hard to keep this thing clean. And we're back home. Back home in our messy home. Tracy, I got a haircut. I cut my beard. Good to go fishing tomorrow. Dressed all nice again. I don't know why. Oh, I went into the city to get my haircut. But oh, the sun is shining again. Good. Good. Look how long my grass is. Yikes, I got like a forest out there and it just rained, so I can't even cut it right now. <sighs> I'll get a job for Sunday, I guess. Diesel's in his room right now drying off because he got wet outside when it was raining. Diesel, stay. There he is. You're still all wet. It smells like a wet dog in here. Is there a wet dog in here? I'm oh, sure shake it everywhere. How you doing? Say hi to the camera. Nothing? Not anything to say? <laughs> Was that a burp? How polite of him. All right, well, that's the trip. Thanks for joining me or us on this trip. We will be leaving to Nebraska on Sunday, and I will see you then.